All right, let's talk reflections. You ever stare out at a calm lake, mesmerized by the crystal clear reflections dancing on the surface? Tempted to capture the same magic, but worried probably it won't work out? Hold on a sec. We'll break it down step by step. No fancy jargon, just clear instructions how to create those reflections on water. Grab your brushes. Start with the boat. Let's draw it quickly. Not learn to do how to paint those paintings. Rather, we will learn how to draw the reflections. Let's do some backgrounds. I will tell you the basics and I would want you guys to come up with your own style but follow the technique that I'm teaching here today. Just do the background just just to separate the boat and I will start with just drawing the boat's edges on the top part and I will just fill up with sap green pigment when you draw any boat just remember that my first clue is down at the bottom where it touches the water it needs to be darker let's draw the water now now as you can see if I put more green down at the bottom of the boat the reflection will be paint by itself but I will not do that one today. I will just draw the reflection with some darker value. Let's do that one. So this is one way you can draw the reflections. Now the first technique you can do, just pull out your credit card or any card and just lift out the colors, scrap those colors out. It's a very common technique and this is helpful in some cases if you want now let's do something else I will draw a small little scene and I'll show you how to draw the reflections combination with shadow on the reflections so you will see in some cases you have the reflections and then again you have the shadow of the objects on the reflections as well let's see how we can handle that one it's pretty easy let's do this small sort of scenario I'll just draw a boat let's do some sort of background some foliage mountains in the background I will not be too much careful about the whole scene or the seascape my main purpose is to show how I can draw a reflection on a boat and then also draw a shadow just to make it a little bit uh, looking good I'm just doing some bit of background and stuff let's draw some water uh, I'll use cobalt blue on one side and the other side I will use cobalt blue with a bit of mix of raw sienna and here randomly very lightly i'll draw i'll paint the water and uh, now what i will do here with yellow ochre i will just do a sand or something like that the reason i put two colors because of the background foliages the water will probably is looking like a little bit of greenish I will wait for my this initial wash to dry up so now what I will do I will paint the reflection with a bit of greenish uh, pigment so I'll do the boat work later on so just do the re reflection just normal as we do now while it is getting dried I will start working on the boat just do a bit of lavender color my boat will be a bit of whitish so 
I'll just paint that one with the lavenders. Probably wash it up with some water as well. I'll just do the darker part down at the bottom. As you've said, I'll just make this one a bit of burnt sienna and do a little bit of detailing stuff. I'm just trying to make this a little bit of pretty. Just make it darker. So now, I think the down down there the reflections already been dried up so what i will do use some shadow part now so shadow will be on top of reflections i will use ultramarine blue and just do the shadow on those reflections it will be hard edge so that it creates some visual interest and there you go. There, how you can do that one. So just do just a little bit of details and stuff so that it looks a bit of pretty. So here you can see that there is a reflection there as well as the shadow on top of reflections there. So these kind of small little tiny details makes your painting outstanding. So I hope this helps. Try to do that one if you do any sort of painting like that. All you need to do, just to make sure your reflection is dried up, then do the shadow part with the glazing technique. Just finishing it off with a little bit of tiny details. Like strings, ropes, this kind of thing. Let's do some basic now. Let's try both again. What I will show you now, when you draw the reflections, you can draw them in two ways. When you draw a boat, when you color it off, when you fill the boat with the colors, then you have two options for reflections. Either you can draw the reflection the same color as the boat, or you can draw the reflection with some darker value like color of the water or maybe some darker value like neutral tint or paints gray something like that so here what I'm doing I put some darker values down at the bottom and then I will run through the water I'll try to pull the color down at the bottom that will create one sort of reflection. Now let's do another one. Let's draw from the front end and let's do some background. And I'll draw the edge with a bit of greenish and I'll probably draw the same color of the boat. Now here what I will do, instead of pulling down the boat's color down at the bottom, I will use some different colors like color of the water like here, cobalt turquoise, and I will do the reflection with that one. There you go. So that's how we can do that one. So now take a look at another example. In this example I will show you two basic rules that many of us don't know and also I will show you what sort of mistakes we do when when we do any reflection work let's draw this boat let's do some background and make this boat color a bit lighter I'll just use lavender and use just some water now I will just draw some water and here the mistake is done 
Many of us, what we do, we leave the portion of the reflection empty and then we draw the water and we make we make the reflection like that. So problem is here, the rule, rule number one, if your boat color is lighter, your reflection needs to be darker than your boat, than the object. So what we need to do, we need to do something like that. But this is where we do another mistake. We paint the reflection way too early while the paper is wet. So what happened there? Reflection gets too softy. Not every painting we need that. So this is what this is what happened. For example, I will show you how to fix that one. Let this paper dried up. Let's do another boat beside that now. I will show how I will show you how we can. If your boat is darker color, the reflection needs to be lighter. So here the boat is bright red. My reflection should not be brighter than the actual boat is. I will just make it a little bit of lighter. And here, consciously I did that mistake. I did that reflection again. And I will show you how to fix that one. So let's fix the first one. This is dried up already, paper. Now we do the reflection. Do it nicely. Crisp reflection in there, but you do the scribbly stuff so, to show the wavy nature of the water. Now, for the second one, I will not draw the reflection now, rather I will draw the water. So do sort of negative painting, so the reflections sort of stand out. Because if, if I want to make the reflection lighter, then if I paint again on top of that, it's going to be darker again. So let's leave it like that. So that's how we can create reflections. We can fix the errors in the reflections. And these two rules we need to keep in mind. Now let's draw reflection on calm water, something like that. I will not draw the actual image like that. That will take a really, really long time. I will just show you the basic principle of that. I'll just do some bit of sort of background and I will use some burnt sienna and yellow ochre mix and just draw the calm water. And when you draw the water, one thing is to remember the sky color needs to be reflected on there if the water is really, really calm. So I will once portion of the water I will make like cobalt blue or ultramarine a bit of blue so that it reflect I can show it reflects the sky now this side I'll probably draw some greenish or yellowish color there just to make the harmony of this sort of piece let this be dry now in the middle of the pond uh, we'll draw some vegetation there and a dead tree as it was in the picture and draw this tree make darker values in there I'll not draw as I said that colorful just show how we can do the reflection on calm water so now what I did I put some water just fresh water down at the bottom and try to imitate the color of the vegetation and pond make some darker values and run through some water there so that it looks like the reflections is there as well and draw the other tree down the 
and in the back. So, main idea is that my reflection needs to be really, really light in value because the actual tree is darker in color. The same thing. Here, I will not break down the ripples, but I use very lighter tea consistency wash of burnt sienna and eared ochre mixed. See, because of the value of the color, it is reflecting as very calm water in the morning, something like that. You can draw some background or something like that. Probably in some video, in next, I will try to paint exactly the one I did before and show you how we can draw that one. But that's a bit of intermediate or or ex advanced style so i will run through some fresh water there as well bit of very light tea consistency mix of burnt sienna and that's how we can do that now let's try to now let's try to paint something like this I'll just draw a boat, something like that, not the whole thing, just to draw. So let's paint the boat with the lavender color, a bit of lighter color, I would say. And this boat with the darker color, so we will use the same principle. My first shadow would be darker and the boat with the darker colored shadow will be lighter. So let's define the boat first. Let's draw those two people with some negative painting. I've got a video there how uh, there I showed her how to draw the people. If you haven't watched that, please go and watch that one. That's very, I think that will be very helpful. Let's do some background. Let's create some small little tiny environment there, like early morning, something like that. As I said, I'm not trying to imitate the exact scenario. Rather, I will show you how I can draw the reflections there. So here first, I'll draw the water. So. Just a fresh water of cobalt blue. Use more water in there. And now I try to add some more blue in there. More, The more I go down, I will add some more darker values in there. And remember one thing. The object or water near you will have darker in value and far from you will have lighter in value. So I'll just use some greenish burn sienna. Just an example. I will create some wave there. So to create the wave you need to make sure your paper is wet and then use more pigment in your brush than the paper. If your pigment is less and your water is more on your brush, it will create that cauliflower effect, which probably not desirable in every cases. In my some other video, I probably show that one how to sort that. As you can see, some of my strokes has got lighter in pigments. It's it is creating some cauliflower effect in there. So let's try to fix that.
let's do some something like that okay now it's dried up we can draw the we can paint the reflection now as our boat is lighter so i can make the reflection be darker than that and i'll do some scribbling there like the waves are do some random something like that so it can have some realistic effect and the boat adjacent to that one is darker so I will have a little bit lighter values than that so if it's light then the reflection is dark if it's dark the reflection is a bit light there you go Yeah, something like that. Let's make the bottom of the boat a bit darker. And just wash it with the fresh water to make the edge a bit softer. When you do any reflections or any shadow, remember these things. That has to be crisp. Yes, we we can do the reflections and shadow in weight into weight, but not in every cases. And most of the times, it has to be crisp. So let's make this painting this piece a little bit prettier. Do some mast and reflect there. And let's draw the people and boat. Just put some lavender color in there. These are very tiny figures, so it's very hard to do exactly uh, the people. Some dynamic pose or something like that. So just try to do the faces and probably the make this dark value down at the bottom the pants and this stuff so that from afar it looks like the two people talking or something like that you can make this bit more detailed if your painting is large so let's do a little bit of negative painting make these people pop up and that's how I will end up this painting for now. So that's pretty much all, my friend. Um, here I have shown you how what how we can do the reflections, what sort of mistake we do, what's the rules for the reflections, how to do the ref reflection on calm water, and for wild. And for wild weather or very wavy crashes, you don't need to do the reflection in there. That's for another video probably. I'll show you how we can draw the water. Something like this. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing. And let me know in a comment if I have missed anything.